Yahoy there! This is Captain Cold speaking on behalf of UGC to talk about P.L. Swiftwater. And today we're going to... <coughs> today we're going to look at um, P.L. Swiftwater, UGC. We're starting on the first point. Just going to fly through this map and talk about common holding and pushing strats. Uh, so here on my right is the uh, blue spawn. On the left is the uh, first point. Um, P1 for red. Um, basically, when pushing out, you want to um, you want to push out over the log or the bridge. This uh, stock house over here, that door is locked until the first point has been captured. Um, the red team is going to be mainly positioned around here. I've seen uh, sentry guns and dispensers right about there. That's where the combo is going to hold. The combo being the medic, heavy, and or demo man. Um, pyro, Jeff, Def pretty much be around there to negate any uber pushes uh, from the first. Taking over this area is pretty easy because um, it's so close to the blue spawn it's, it's really easy to overtake everything. Um, here is the stair house which you'll see is um, in a great place for a sniper to hold. Over here is big patio which leads into big house. This house is interconnects uh, the center of the map. We'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, once you take the first point that goes over river right here, uh, leads you into the mine shaft, which goes over the upper and lower. Of course, the uh, the cart's going to take you through main. The uh, the upper side's going to wrap all the way around. It's going to take you through another tunnel over there and take you out through tiny. That's what I call. Uh, the big house. The once you capture the first point, the first door that unlocks for you is this one on the upper right of the patio. Takes into bread room. This is what I call the main choke. Um, typically, good red teams will stick their combo here to negate the first push from blue or at least get them to pop early. Um, the medic will usually stand right about here and the heavy will be right here waiting for people to come through whereas the engineer typically builds here and the sniper will be over here where I call Utah. Um, as, as you can see the sniper can see all the way in the main. Um, can see anything coming over from tiny. Sometimes um, I've, I've tried sniping from um, this chop shop right here. Because uh, you can see it in main, you can see it in bread house. It's it's a really advantageous spot. Um, or down here on the ground too. Whatever. So um, blue makes their big push. They take out take out the gun. Uh, of course, red gets pushed back even more. This being the um, the central spawn point for red. It's just just one big giant room. It's very silly. Um, so once uh, the second point has been captured, this door locks for red. They can no longer exit through there. Uh, blue pushes through here. The second doors that open up once the second point is captured on Big Patio is this one right here. This door opens up and takes you into what I call the control room. It opens up to um, this deck over here. Deck area. This door opens up and unlocks. Uh, and this is connected to the main choke point through your bedroom, as I talked about before. This door opens up as well. Um, this is what I call giraffe. This is what I call TV room. This is probably the next central point to contend because um, you want to bring your combo up through uh, through Utah, go into control room, and you want to take control of the next area, which is point three. And as you can see, it's a little bit more tight, a little bit harder to uh, to contend. There's a lot of objects in the way. Typically, I see engineers building guns here or here, but if they're down here, they're a little bit more susceptible from spam from giraffe and deck because, as you can see, um, you can pretty much see the entire side except it's blocked there. Um, you know, you, you just have to weigh the, the pros and cons of where you want to build and how you're going to push out. Um, so, yeah, that's that's P3. You uh, Heavies, by the way, if you have the GRUs, you can stand on that. No big deal. Once you cap P3, this door opens up from control room, which of course, um, that's this from Big Patio. This is P3's yard. Once you um, have captured P3, these doors open up and this becomes Blue's new spawn. So once you capture that point, engineers, you'll need to um, destroy your buildings and immediately move your stuff up. Uh, so this is the sniper bats, I guess you can call it. Uh, leads into car garage or garage. These windows can be shot through. P3 
projectile and hit scan weapons can go through those. This door opens uh, only one way though, from the inside. This leads you to the uh, outside deck over here. I'll just call it sniper deck if you want. Here's a big overview of P4. As you can see, blue is at a severe height disadvantage. Having to push up this hill, you want to concentrate a lot of your fire behind this fence. You hear that tree. Um, it's it's really popular for um, players to get a whole lot of people around that cart right here, and then red will deploy a crits or an uber on the heavy right around here and take a whole lot of people out. So be really careful for that. Um, enemy snipers, red snipers are typically seen up here on this deck by this tree because uh, just this wide area that you can see. It's generally not too hard to take down as long as you get down maybe, you know, three or four red red team. A or if you get a medic pick, you should be able to push this card up no problem. Um, of course, your team's going to have to work out who you need on card at all times. But uh, This is the, I believe, the only point in the map where uh, if you don't successfully push 100% of this area that's uh, striped in yellow and black, that the cart will fall back immediately if no one's on it. Uh, there's no countdown, so you've got to make sure once you commit to pushing up that hill, you have to make sure it goes up all the way, or else it's going to fall the way back down. Um, last point, uh, big ramp. I'm not going to talk about that just yet. This is sidecar, which is accessible one way through the outside of this gate, so it, you can only um, you can only come out. You cannot come into this door. Um, this is the back of sidecar over here, where you can peek into uh, last their pit, or what I call their bats. Uh, this is heal. And again, these are multiple windows that you can peek in on their sentry gun. It shouldn't be too hard to push in the last once you have enough people to make a full c commit at the same time. Should be no problem at all. Um, spies, you can jump through this, these windows, FYI, um, if you're being pursued. Um, uh, let's take a look, look at snack room, because this allows you to take the vents either from sidecar or or under the main patio or deck and these stairs of course lead you back to sidecar so there's there's multiple ways of penetration uh, to get down here if they have um, you know if the cobble's holding in here it's not too hard of course the stairs lead you up back to there's just so many points of entry to get in here however um, there's only one point of entry to get if you're built up here which is a really good building spot I think because um, it just covers this whole area uh, normally, I usually see pushes come out through uh, heal. If it's a if it's a heavy or a demo, because uh, it's a it's a shortest distance to get to the sentry gun and clear out this area, because you pretty much want to divide the support between where red spawns and can come out, which is through here. This is their shortest path to get to uh, this area to defend the last point. Uh, so you, you pretty much want to just create a divide there, kill everything that's on by pit, and then just you know keep touching it in. Um, if you want a tip for blue, I usually see pyros and engineers just keep nudging the cart in, and, and scouts too. So if you're a medic, make sure they stay buffed so they can keep that cart uh, moving on in. Um, and there's not really too much to showcase about the map because there are just a hundred and one small nooks and crannies like, like this. I mean, there, there's just so much to think about that's hardly ever used. The map is so big. But other than that, I one more thing I guess I could show and that's if you're in a pinch and you need to get health and you're back here there's a big old health pack right here by Stairhouse um, nothing special though so that's it, that's Swiftwater I hope you enjoyed, I just want to give you guys a quick rundown of this map and hopefully everybody understands the general pushing and holding strats of this map and um, have fun this week see ya